What does Justin Trudeau mean when he says, when he says the word hate speech? He means speech he hates. Clinton Jaws. You're not going to believe what I found. I just found this. It blew my mind. I'm upstairs and I'm reviewing it. I threw on the white shirt. I know I look like the Fonz. I had to come down here and tell you guys about this. It's a statement from the justice minister. Kind of an important guy. He's the attorney general. I'm going to read a little bit of it. And then I'm going to show you a short clip from Poliev and what he has to say about uh, Trudeau's new, new insane bill. Honestly, guys, I'm not trying to be dramatic. But when I read it, uh, it was cringy. The hairs in the back of my neck stood up and I'm like, oh, this guy's a weirdo. I didn't know about this guy. I haven't been paying attention to this guy. He's like Trudeau, like really creepy. You guys know all about, you guys know all about the harms bill that they want to pass, right? Maybe you don't. Nobody really knows all about it. We don't even know what the definition of online harm. What does online harm mean? I reviewed this in 2021 when Trudeau wanted to become, he wanted, he wanted to get reelected. And he came out with this, all this stuff saying, this is what I'm going to do if you elect me. And I read this and I'm, I'm like, online harm? It, it's not even hate. Like a lot of people in Canada, they think it's something to do with hate. No, it's just harmful content that he might find harmful. I don't know why I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Just watch this. The guy's name is Justice Minister Arif Varani. We'll just call him AV, okay? I'm, I know I'm not saying that right. Listen to this. He has defended a new power, a new power in the online harms bill to impose house arrests on someone who is feared to commit a hate crime in the future. Even if they haven't done it yet, electronic monitoring for somebody that hasn't committed a crime yet. But this, this is like, I don't know how they're going to do it, but this is, this is a new power, isn't it? This is a scary power and it scares me because of my channel. Maybe I'm, whatever Trudeau thinks is harmful, maybe I could get electronic monitoring if I say something harmful, but nobody has defined what harmful content is. So we don't know, but we kind of do know, don't we? What does Trudeau find harmful? He called me racist. He called unvaccinated people, what was it? Racist, misogynistic, and extremist. He, told, he said the RCMP was systemically racist. He called us racist. There's nothing worse. There's nothing more hatred than racism, right? So it's whatever Trudeau determines what harmful is. The person could be made to wear an electronic tag if the attorney general requests it. This, this guy, if he requests it. I mean, can you, be, can you look any more nerdy? This new power. He's in control of it. Some dude that Trudeau appointed. The new power could be very, very important to restrain the behavior of someone with a track record of hateful behavior who may be targeting certain people. Like politicians? Now get this. If there's a genuine fear of escalation, an individual could come forward and seek a peace bond against them to prevent them from doing certain things. <laughs> What things? Peace bond. You know how many it, peace bonds? I've arrested people and, and requested peace bonds against them. You need two elements for a peace bond. It's basically threats, fear to the person, or fear of their property. Now, the, when I read this, they're, they're going to somehow lower the standard for a peace bond. That's what it tells me. Yeah, it's a new power, all right. And what do peace bonds come with, guys? Yeah, peace bonds come with conditions. And what can you put on? What can you put on it? Well, you can restrict them on their internet use. That's what it's all about. I don't like what you say on the internet. I'm going to issue you a peace bond. You're no longer allowed to go on the internet. You're no lo longer allowed to post. You're no longer to have, allowed to have a YouTube channel that criticizes liberals. I could barely talk. I'm so wound up. <laughs> God. It's going to restrict internet usage and behavior that would help de-radicalize people. It is designed to curb hate online, but also establishes a new hate crime offense, which could carry a maximum penalty of life imprisonment. Just life in prison. 
That's all that is. Just life in prison, guys. Now let's ta- let's talk about hate speech. This is what they're going to do. Listen to this. They, they got new tools, guys, on how to deal with this. The bill would allow people to file complaints over what they perceive as hate speech online. Just what they perceive. Including, for example, off-color jokes by comedians. They don't want comedians making jokes, guys. I'm a comedian. I'm not funny. But I, I go on stage. There goes, there goes all the Asian bits about my wife on stage. Somebody might find that uh, hateful. And what happens to me? I could possibly get arrested. And a peace bond could be issued. People found guilty of posting hate speech could have to pay victims up to 20 grand to compensation. Think about all the Karens that are going to complain. But the complaints, they, they got to be serious enough, guys. They can't, somebody can't just be throwing around complaints. Okay, if somebody does that, if somebody, somebody files a complaint in bad faith, costs could also be issued. Do you know what this means? Anybody can go ahead. Issue the complaint. You're under investigation. You're guilty right off the bat, and you have to prove your innocence, which might take years. Oh, this part, this part here is priceless. They're in a hurry. It's, it's, we got to get this in there now. Time is of the essence. And we know how horrible material can go viral very, very quickly, he said. He added, for this reason, it is critical that the bill progresses through Parliament to committee swiftly so the government can look at amendments. Swiftly. How fast is this going to come, Tammy? It's going to come like this. You better believe it. And why? Well, they want it in before the next election, of course. Trudeau wants to shut people up. It doesn't do them any good. All these podcasts in t- all of Canada talking badly about them. It's harmful content. I'm getting sick and tired. We're wacky. Everybody looks at Canada like they're wacky. We really are wacky. And I don't like it. Like I was I was talking to the family like can we move to the states? I mean, we literally could. But would that would that even I would still be a Canadian citizen, right? Would that even stop any of this? Anyways, I love this part. I love what Poliev has to say about Trudeau's new, new bill, so let's just play it. Justin Trudeau's latest attack on freedom of expression. And um, I want to ask, what does Justin Trudeau mean when he, says, when he says the word hate speech? He means speech he hates. I point out the irony that someone who spent the first half of his adult life as a practicing racist who dressed up in hideous racist costumes so many times he says he can't remember them all should then be the arbiter on what constitutes hate what's up? 